Hello, and welcome to Fourth Dimension Today. My name is Maria. I'm your Sherpa for this read. And I am reading individual zodiac signs. You lucky people. <laughs> I had enough comments to say, please, please do it. I'm like, all right. So this, this reading is for you, Leo. Leo, it's for the week of January 21st to 27th. What do we got, spirit? Leo, Leo, January 21st to 27th. Thank you. Mm. So far, looking good. Looking good. If you happen to like, I'm going to take those so you want to jump out. If you happen to like this read, find it at least entertaining, please consider subscribing so then you're notified of upcoming reads. Um, if you have any positive well wishes, comments, suggestions, I'd be more than happy to take them in the comments section. And again, if you know another Leo, feel free to share. And we're going to get to it. And my dog might bark, and I'm sorry about that. Um, all right, Leo. Hmm. <laughs> it must be an end of the month theme for the zodiac signs. I'm telling you, I'm missing a couple of cards. Okay. All right. <laughs> I need two more spirit for this read. And forgive me if my dog barks. A leaf could be blowing, a squirrel, somebody else's dog walking by. That's too many spirit. Can you please give me two more, please? Two more. Thank you very much. Perfect. All right. I'm going to make this an extra. All right, Leo. Bomb of the deck is um, a couple things. We have the Eight of Pentacles. There's too many people to read reversals, so just gonna put that out there now. Um, and you could take it, switch it. If you're dealing with Leo, if you're a cross watcher, this might be for you, might, you might resonate, you know Leo, what have you. If you're a cusper, um, Cancer Leo cusp, this might resonate. It's a story, all right? And so we're just gonna see what Spirit has to say. Hopefully it resonates. First, first card out is a, nine of swords nine of swords you're up in your head lots of anxiety can't sleep at night something is eating your lunch taking your taking stealing your um serenity as we say right below that is a knight of pentacles knights are incoming uh action it's an action item so something's on its way and it's a pentacle so it's a new opportunity uh can do, be a new relationship it's usually an investment not a fly by night so that's what the pentacles mean it's an investment it's a commitment um it's long-term, usually. Uh, second row, top of the deck, is Three of Cups, celebration. Could be, um, you know, three in a crowd. I'm not trying to be rude, but uh, it could be third party, but I get, this, I get the sense of a celebration. Right below that is an Ace of Wands. Incoming uh, aces are new beginnings, new passionate. Uh, could be, again, something you're passionate about, something you love doing, a new opportunity because you had some pentacles prior, right? So it could be something you'd love to do that there's now a job offer that in something that you love to do. Not sure, not you. You know your story, but I'm just telling you the vibe I'm getting. And we're going to go ahead and clarify this in a minute so you have a better understanding. Right next to that is the Five of Swords, fighting, arguing. In fact, previous fighting and argument, people are walking away from this conversation. So you might have had a conversation that was pretty bitey, pretty uh, sharp, an argument. I think you might have, and um, it didn't go well. Let me tell you why. Right below that, and this is kind of coming together as I'm, as I'm reading for you, is a Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. So it is actually your divine team, your spiritual network, your Sherpa group that is leading you, guiding you, um, supporting you, you know, developing your skills, honing your craft, that sort of thing, bringing it together and its intervention, right? So we have a, a, a wheel of fortune, which is now a change and it's the divine's fingerprints moving your timeline around a little bit and speeding things up. So it's bringing it to fruition. It's putting it, it almost, and the next card out has got to close your eye, but bringing it to fruition to a close, right? The next card is Hierophant. The Hierophant is traditionally a tradition. It's commitment, it's engagement, it's marriage. Right below the marriage card is the world. 
and that is the ending of a cycle. So this is the completion and my gut feeling says it's a divorce. Leo, if you have Leo in your chart and can resonate with this, this is the closure of a relationship. Next two cards, which is the irony of the entire read, which confirms all the cards prior, is you have Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is absolute epiphany of happiness and love. And it could be self-love, it could be with love with somebody else, but right below that is a death card confirming the world, the closure of a cycle. So you're putting a death. Whoever this is, is putting a death. Um, and I, you, you got a bonus card. That's the only best way I can put it is you have the three of wands and the three of wands typically is this person's turned their back on something and they're looking forward and making a decision. Um, but they kind of already had make, made a decision because the two of wands is in process of making a decision. It's the guy holding the globe in his hand like this, looking out at the terrain with two wands, right? He's making a decision. This is you made a decision and you're picking up your resources and you're determining next steps. That's really this card. And that's the overall vibe with the resources that you are building. That's, it's a forward movement, Leo. This is absolutely forward movement in whatever choice and decision you made. Um, okay. It's going to be a busy week. I want to make sure you had your Cheerios or your Wheaties. Remember Wheaties back in the day? I don't even know if they make them anymore. My dad used to make us eat them. They're disgusting. I want, mm. but my point is when Bruce Jenner was on the box, y'all remember when Bruce Jenner was on the box? So, I, I'm trying to keep all my comments in my head. So the irony is, is you have a lot of new beginnings. You have a Knight of Pentacles, which is an incoming uh, opportunity, right? And then a celebratory with an Ace of Wands. So I do believe those three cards are absolutely related. And it could be a new relationship. It could be a job offer. It could be both. But let me just show you before I define anymore, because I think I'm going to define the Knight of Pentacles to make sure, is this a job? Is this a relationship? If I can get them off my table, that would be great. So I can show you. But this is what it looks like, right? So you have the three three of cups celebrating this opportunity. Thank you, passionate new beginning. And it's a job or at least a commitment, new commitment coming in. So the three of them together, I get a vibe. Um, I don't see an ace of pentacles yet. So I don't think it's a new job. I think it's already on the table and you're making a decision to move forward with it and you're celebrating that decision and you're following a passion. You're going after something your heart wants and this is divinely led and you're putting closure in a period, not a comma in this, whatever it was before. Could be the job, could be a relationship. Right now, I'm gonna clarify the Knight of Pentacles and we'll see what Spirit has to say. Tell me more about Leo. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Can I get a couple cards defining this Knight of Pentacles spirit? Bear with me. Thank you. You have the hangman in the reverse. And I told you I didn't like reversals, but I think this one applies. Spirit knows I can do them. It just takes too long. And you got a page of pentacles. I'm telling you. I need more words, Spirit. I need more words. Give me a neon sign, please. Give me some more words for this Knight of Pentacles. So far, pentacles are jobs, right? So I think you have a new, a new opportunity coming around, Leo. Thank you. The moon in reverse. Hidden secrets, not quite all the facts, right? Right behind that is a page of pentacles. And this is defining your knight of pentacles, right? Something, something's on its way into you. Page of pentacles is the communication, the opportunity, the offer, the discussion about the offer. The hangman in this way is stuck in your head, looking at it from a different perspective. You've had that, you've done it, you've done the work, you're out of that space, that energy, that spirit, that all that vibe. You made that decision based on the new information you received and you're looking at it from a different perspective, but you um, don't have all the answers because the moon in the reverse. You have several unanswered, you have several open issues with this so far. Bottom, four of pentacles. Four of pentacles is conservative. It's stingy, quite frankly, selfish, right? I have pentacles, they're in my possession. I have more than plenty, I don't wanna share. I don't want to share with you. I don't want to share. So this might be you not wanting to share your love, resources, time, energy. You don't want to give to anything. You just want to sit in your in your kingdom and enjoy your pentacles. Could be Leo. Or it could be this opportunity coming and you think you're worth more. 
I get that vibe is like, you know, wait a minute. I think this does sound like a great opportunity, but I'm not willing to take a pay cut. Mm -mm. I know my value. I know my worth. I'm not doing it. That's kind of what I get, Leo. That's my gut. My in. So this could be just a job, a job reading. I don't know. We'll find out. You had the 10 of cups there though, which is complete fulfillment, right? So I don't know if all 10 cups are gonna come with a financial read, just saying. Otherwise it'd be the 10 of pentacles and it's not, it's the 10 of cups. So I wanted to find, excuse me, getting over cold, ace of wands. And thank you for all your comments, prayer, support. That was amazing. Like I got an outpouring of tea. Like I didn't know there was even that many tea. Three fell out to define the ace of wands. The tower, change, four of swords. You're in meditation and prayer. You're praying about it. You're thinking about it. You're talking to other people about it. Give me the say so on. It is, a, it is, chain, towers aren't bad. Remember when I said that last read and I got a whole bunch of crap about it? And I always say, don't listen to your feelings. Your feelings is typically fear, fear and anxiety. Fear and anxiety are just feelings. They're just feelings. They do not need to dictate. They don't need to dictate your decisions. You might need making a decision, but you're comfortable in your current job. You're comfortable in your current situation. And the fear of the unknown is stopping you from jumping. The emperor. The emperor showed up. So the emperor of four kings, right? All four kings. And you got two more. Ten, judgment. You're making a judgment call. Judgment. And as a bonus, you got Queen of Cups. So you might be dealing with a Queen of Cups in this job, or this could be a relationship with the Queen of Cups. And you are revisiting, because this is also rebirth. I get the sense that this is a previous relationship that you had. I don't feel like a real one. I think you probably maybe dated. I get an in and out. I don't quite get committed because you're in your head and you don't know what to do. But I do feel a couple, couple of good things are happening. A lot of good things are happening. One, I, I think there's two situations. You are getting a new job offer or at least a conversation about it. And you're getting a revisitation from, yeah, this Queen of Wands, this, or Queen of Cups, excuse me. This Queen of Cups is new. This is not somebody you're in a relationship with. This is new. I want to define Wheel of Fortune. I just work here, y'all. I'm just the reader. I could pay it either way. <laughs> just kidding. There's no money in this. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just playing. But I'm just telling you, if it doesn't resonate, move on. But I do believe this is two separate situations. There's that pentacles. Remember I told you about it? Two separate things. There's the ten of pentacles. That is, this is the divine clarifying for me because I wasn't sure which way this is going. You have a job and a new relationship on its way immediately this week, like coming in. This new opportunity. This fell out on its side. Almost, almost in the reverse energy. So again, I said I don't re I I can re I don't like to read reversals because I'm reading for a lot of people, and quite honestly, every storyline is different. But in essence, again, take it for what the generic version, right? Is you're up in your head a lot, you're full of anxiety, and it stops you. It's bondage, thus the toilet paper bondage around this person could easily wiggle out. There's nobody fighting. There's nobody else on this car, just this person. And this person's up in their head. What should I do? Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Stop it. So if this person just undid the toilet paper roll and made a decision, the anxiety, the, the, the swords would dissipate. They, they'd be dissolved. They'd disappear. They'd go away. Whatever you want to say. And she'd turn around and walk to the castle. That's the fruition. That's the, oh, that's the epitome of the whole tarot. That's the story of tarot is getting to the castle. So this lady's up in her head, back, forth, back, forth. What should I do? And they're saying, um, jump, get in your carriage, get in your chariot and go, go for it. You don't have anything negative. Yeah. You're going to have to leave situations, people. You're going to have to leave a situation that doesn't bring you happiness, but you need to be the emperor. And yeah, you're going to have to make a judgment call, but this is the divine. This is the divine's fingerprints all over it. And you need to have emperor-like skills. I don't know how else to say it. Characteristics. So the emperor doesn't apologize. And they aren't about feelings. They have feelings, of course. They're the four kings. They're balance. They're, um, they use their, they use their, in, <laughs> I don't know. They're, um, I just hear wisdom, beyond wisdom. What's 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 beyond wisdom? They're a divine intervention, they're divine timing, they're their intuition. They they're 
trusting that this is for them. This came to them. They didn't go searching for this. This came to them. It's a brand, this came to you. This opportunity came to you. It's a brand new opportunity. Okay. That was the Finding Wheel of Fortune. Uh, clarify the world, please. Clarify the world spirit. Thank you. Okay. Closing out that chapter. We talked a little bit about that. Here's your, remember? Your two, I said, job and romantic relationship. Somebody's going to be offering you or you are going to be offering somebody your heart, your cup of love. You are entering a new relationship. You're, you're beyond entertaining it. You are moving forward with it and you have closed out a previous cycle. It could be a job, could be a relationship, both possibly, more than likely. And death, death is the end. Don't freak out about death. It's just new chapters are awaiting you, but you have to close the last one to go to the new one. And you are make, remember how I said the three of wands was moving forward. The two of wands is a decision. This, I feel like it's a relationship. This is the one, the job is the three. I know this is kind of confusing. I'm just totally going off intuition now, but it's coming in fast. So I just, blah, 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 you know, so this one is you've made the decision about the job. You're moving forward with the job and you're moving forward. Done. This is about a relationship. You're sitting there going, should I, shouldn't I, shouldn't I, shouldn't I, did it, did it, change. You don't do well with change and you have change everywhere this week. <laughs> Mm, this might be the title of your weekly read, The Tower. That's all you need to know. Just The Tower. Get ready. Get ready. Here comes The Tower. Whew. All right. Let's, um, let's clarify the 10, the 10 of cups. Let's see. If I have, I have like half the deck out. Hopefully I can clarify it. If nothing comes out, I'll use another deck. Clarify the 10 of cups, please. Tell me more, Spirit, about the 10 of cups. This is a good read, Leo. It's a good week. Got a lot, lots of good stuff coming on. Okay, nothing's coming out. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Truthful conversation happening. You're going to have an honest conversation with somebody about this. And I think it's the one you're giving the heart to, your, your two of cup to, or vice versa. The person who's coming in, the one you decide you want to join, okay, defining the Ten of Cups is the Five of Swords, which is ironic because that's this. You have two, two five of swords out, defining your ten of cups. Okay, spirit, we got a knight of swords, which is ironic because you got an ace of swords here, right? And the knight of swords is incoming fast communication, and it's on a, the knight of swords is on his horse, and he's coming in hard to have a very challenging conversation. It's not usually um, pleasant. It's not, I love you and I want to buy you roses. It's, uh, we need to have a conversation. We have some unfinished business. It's like that. This is Ace of Swords. It's this card. I'm, I'm asking Spirit to define this and he's giving me the exact same read for you. Just in case you didn't trust <laughs> the cards coming out. Here they are again. It's a repeat. Um, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is um, this card. I'll get there. Hold on. So you have the Knight of Pentacles. That is a commitment. That is an opportunity, right? It's an investment. This is love. Heart and Knights are action. So you have two things coming in this week. Yay. Good for you. Wheaties. Wheaties. Beyond Bran Muffin. I'm just saying, you're going to need some vitamins. All right. Lastly, anything, Spirit, you want to tell me more about this week for Leo? Thank you. <laughs> Nine of Cups. It's right before the 10. It's right before the 10. Right? The Nine of Cups. So this is already happening, or it's going to be coming to the fruition. And then the Seven of Cups, right? So the Seven of Cups. Um, mm, yeah. I can see that. You might be grieving over a previous relationship. You might have to revisit that in order to offer your cup or, you know, have a conversation about the two of cups with somebody is you, you might have to get over some past hurt. You might have to do some forgiveness. Page of Pentacles. Back to um, this guy. Now I'm just, spirits just showing off at this point because that's this card right here. Page of Pentacles. 
and the Knight of Pentacles, which I just showed you the horse. I just showed you that. Where is it? Right here. Same same card. So now it's just on repeat. We're just, it, I don't get any more info. It's just consistently the same information. So I'm going to stop now. All right. So Leo, you have a new job opportunity offer conversation coming in. You have, could be, it could be a previous relationship revisiting you. I'm not sure. It could be different for each of you, um, but it is a new relationship. So that is your week so far. If you like it, if you like this vibe, want to subscribe um, so you get notified for upcoming uh, tarot readings, please do that. And if you felt like uh, you like this message or at least found it entertaining, please leave me a like because that helps the algorithm send the message out even farther to people that may need to hear it as well as... Um, get over some stuff, but it looks like a great week for you all. Congratulations. I always appreciate the positive comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. I absolutely love doing this. So thank you very much for your support and for your encouragement. Wish you all the best week ever. Love and light until next time.